Welcome to another SMC technical training video. In this video, we will set up the Ethernet module for the IOLINK Master, enabling the ISC20, ZSC20, and other IOLINK devices. During the video, we will show you the equipment and software you will need, and show you step-by-step -step how to complete it. In the end, we will verify application pressure monitoring activity through IOLINK control from ISC20 and ZSC20 port process data. Let's get started. These are the tools and additional equipment that you will need to add to your pressure and vacuum air circuits to run the operation when your module is ready. You'll need a PC, software, and network communication as well. Please review the IOLINK ISC20 ZSC20 hardware setup video prior to this one. Also, check out the ISC20 ZSC20 network and IP address video before proceeding. First, complete the tubing for the pneumatic circuit between the ISC20, PFM, and the ZK2. Also, complete the vacuum circuit between the ZK2, ZSC20, and suction cup. Turn on your power, then your air source. Check that the ISC20 is pressurized. There should be no flow at the PFM. Now, let's set up the IOLINK master for the PLC. Download the EDS file from the IOLINK master manufacturer. Also, download all necessary files for PLC access support. Now, with the IOLINK network running, start a session of Studio 5000. Then, select and add the IOLINK master EDS file, and click Finish. Right-click on the Ethernet scanner in the controller organizer and select New Module. Isolate and select the commercial IOLINK Master brand. Then in the Select Module Type table, highlight the IOLINK Master model and click Create. In the New Module table, enter the IP address previously set for the unit. Then, enter the desired unit name. Before moving on, Click Change, then change the data type to Integer. Then click OK. Then save the program and go into Who Active. Then highlight and download it to the PLC. Make sure you follow the screen to complete the download. And then change over to Run Mode. And finally, Go into the controller tags. Note the tag device descriptions that were added as helpful labels for the IOLINK master port functions. Now with pressure on through the ISC20, manually actuate the ZK2 to induce a vacuum and verify this with the pressure cup ping pong ball, the ZSC20 reading, and the registers in Studio 5000 and utilize the quick guide or operation manual to fine-tune your application. Now we can see that these pressure and vacuum monitoring applications are running through the ISC20 and ZSC20 with IOLINK control. We hope you found this video useful. Look for our other technical training videos to assist in controlling your automation processes.